Story of Plastic. In this video we will discuss briefly about below topics. 1. Before plastic, 2. The first plastic, 3. Importance of cellulose acetate, 4. Development of new materials, 5. What are plastics, 6. Why do plastics have such useful properties, 7. Raw materials for plastics, 8. Important plastic types exist today. Story of plastic began 150 years ago, it is slow until research and development were encouraged during the two world wars. 1. Before plastic. Thousands of years ago, early men could use as materials only those things such as bones, grasses, flints, sticks that they found around them. They found that certain clay became hard if heated in a fire and could be used for holding water. Then they discovered how to make and work bronze and other materials. During the past few centuries, science has given us a much wider range of materials to use when constructing our homes and the machines which today do so much of the hard work. We no longer have to make do with what we can pick up around us, instead we can develop special materials to meet needs. Ancestors lived in stone, metal age perhaps the present time will be known as plastic age too. The first plastic. In 1862 at the Crystal Palace, Alexander Parks showed a material made from cellulose nitrate, he called it as Parkinson. He said this could be used for making many things like buttons, pens, pen holders etc. Although he did not develop it fully, possibly because his main interest was in the study of metals. At the same time, a prize was offered in America for a substitute for ivory, which was in great demand for billiard balls. John Wesley Hyatt tried to win this prize, and developed a mixture of cellulose nitrate with camphor, very similar to parkesine and which he called celluloid. Celluloid was not a perfect material, it caught fire very easily, but it was a new material with new properties. However, its inflammability was a serious drawback, and led to a search for a safer material with similar properties. Cellulose acetate was a promising material, and in 1894 a patent for cellulose acetate manufacture was granted to two English chemists, Cross and Bevan. Another landmark in the history of plastics was the issuing, in America in 1907, of a patent to Leo Hendrik Bakeland. Bakelin's patent, and a similar application filed shortly afterwards in London, by Sir James Swinburne, describe resins made by a chemical reaction between phenol and formaldehyde, these resins were the forerunners of the family of modern plastics known as thermosetting resins. 3. Importance of Cellulose Acetate Cellulose acetate was used in the manufacture of early aeroplanes. These machines had a wooden framework covered with cloth. The cloth was waterproofed and made to shrink tightly onto the frame by painting it with a solution of cellulose acetate in a solvent such as acetone. During the First World War large numbers of aeroplanes were built and, therefore, there was a need for large amounts of cellulose acetate. Several research programs were started to develop other used for this new material. It was found possible to make clear, flexible sheets by slicing them from a large block of cellulose acetate. It was also discovered that artificial silks could be made from cellulose acetate. 4. Development of new materials. A. Polythene. Some plastics have been discovered almost by accident. In 1932, chemists working in an ICI laboratory discovered a way to make methyl methacrylate in quantity and at a reasonable cost. It then became possible to make polymethyl methacrylate in commercial quantities, and its toughness and transparency, in sheet form it is as clear as glass, made it suitable for applications such as aircraft canopies. Interesting fact most of the initial plastics were extremely developed for First and Second World Wars. 5. What are plastics? Many substances which we use today are chemical compounds, salt is a compound of sodium and chlorine, sugar is a compound of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, sodium, chlorine, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen are examples of elements. The smallest particle of an element that can exist is an atom. 
A molecule of cane sugar contains 12 atoms of carbon, 11 of oxygen and 22 of hydrogen. When two or more atoms are joined, we call this a molecule. Sugar is one of the larger molecules among common materials. Carbon atoms have an important chemical property, they can join together to form long chains. Other atoms hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine or more carbon atoms, for instance, can be joined to the carbon atoms in such chains to make very large molecules. Most of the compounds found in plants and animals are made in this way. What has all this to do with plastics? Simply, most of the plastics we find around us today are compounds made with long chains of carbon atoms. It is these long chains that give plastics the properties that we find so useful. 6. Why do plastics have such useful properties? The useful properties of plastics arise from the presence of these large molecules and the way in which they become tangled together. Plastics are made up of long chain molecules. It is the existence of these long chains that makes plastics different from other chemical compounds. 7. Raw Materials for Plastics Oil. When oil comes from the oil wells, the oil must be separated into its various components. This process known as distillation. In this process the oil is heated so that the various components, or fractions, which boil at different temperatures, are boiled out of the crude oil, one after another. Fact, oil distillation provides the raw materials for plastics Raw materials of the plastics industry are mainly oil, air, salt and water, but many different chemical processes are involved before these are converted into plastics, in the production of some plastics such as nylon, ammonia is needed. Nitrogen is obtained from the air and is used to make the ammonia. 8. Important plastic types exist today. There are many types are available today. But important types specified bellowy, polyethylene terephthalate, PET or PET or polyester, PET is mostly used for food and drink packaging purposes too, high density polyethylene, HDPE. This commonly used as the grocery bag, opaque milk, juice container, shampoo bottles, and medicine bottle 3, polyvinyl chloride, PVC, PVC is typically used in toys, blister wrap, cling wrap, detergent bottles, loose leaf binders, blood bags and medical tubing. 4. Low density polyethylene, LDPE, LDPE is mostly used for bags, grocery, plastic wraps, coatings for paper milk cartons and hot and cold beverage cups, some squeezable bottles, honey, mustard, food storage containers, container lids. Also used for wire and cable covering. 5. Polypropylene, PP, PP is widely used for hot food containers. 6. Polystyrene, PS, polystyrene is the styrofoam we all commonly used for food containers.